Oh my gosh. Good morning vlog again. Bro, waking up to record is the hardest thing ever. It's 8.33, I think. And today we're just gonna vlog my day. Because yesterday I recorded a car tour video, but my little sister is just not the best recorder. Like, she tried her best, but she didn't do a good job. <laughs> so I had to delete all that footage, and I was like, I have to record something else. So we're just going to do another vlog, and... <sighs> yeah. Oh my god, my intro. And I'm catching this, baby. Okay, so I'm going to make my bed. Then I'm probably gonna put some lashes on today because I honestly, for someone that sells cosmetics, I actually do not wear makeup all the time, which is crazy. So my goal is to start, not that I don't use my products, I obviously use them, but it's, I'm not the kind of girl that wears lashes every single day. Like lip gloss, yes, but lashes, no. I don't actually wear them every day. Like I'm not the kind of person, but I'm trying to become that kind of person because I wanna wear my product everywhere and promote it everywhere. Like I wear my lip gloss all the time, People always ask me, but I need to start wearing my lashes more. So that's something I'm going to do today. It's probably put lashes on. So let's get into that. So does anyone else make their bed in the morning when they wake up? Because my mom always taught us to do that, but I recently just started doing it for real. And then, you know, it's just, it's just more better when you come back and you come in your room and your bed is made. It's like, it just makes your room look so much better versus coming in and your bed is like all over the place. So yeah. I just started doing this and I'm loving it. Okay, so about to put some lashes on. We're gonna wear my lashes in the style fairy. They're falling off because I wear these. Um I'm starting to wear my more natural styles because usually I wear the most dramatic lashes ever, but I'm starting to wear natural kind of looking ones. These really aren't natural to be completely honest. Cause they are really thick but they're just not as long as the other style lashes i wear like these are like 16 mm i think but the ones i literally wear 25 mm on a regular day basis well not regular day but whenever i put makeup on whatever so so i'm out of breath y'all i was running all over the house but getting this off and we're just gonna go to walmart and like get some i don't know yes i put a straw in my water because it's easier to drink but sometimes the straw goes it falls in so i can't get it out we're gonna get some powerade and stuff like that because i have an obsession with blue powerade like this is literally all i drink so yeah this shirt is looking so long it's because i'm flat chested that's why it looks like there's nothing there but i, I really am flat chested so Okay, so we're gonna put these lashes on just so I can say that I wore lashes today because it's crazy. Like, I'm literally a makeup brand and I don't actually wear makeup every day. Like, I'm just not that type of person to put makeup on every day. Like, if you have time to do it, kudos to you. But personally, like, I don't put it on every day. I literally wear makeup if I'm going somewhere like a party or something like that. Like, I don't just wear it. Why is there a freaking bubble? Okay, so this is how it's looking on Max. I can't get it to come in the inner corner of my eye. Like, it's not looking how I want it to, but at this point. It's actually okay. Okay, so we got one last on, and we put the other one on, and then I'm gonna come back. What's the thing? Okay, so the lashes are on. I'm just gonna brush them out a little bit. I'm gonna brush on my eyebrows. Um, I want 
don't get my eyebrows shaped, but I'm scared. Like, it looks painful. I'm like, what if they come out bad? So these are how the lashes look. Um, they're not really natural, like I said. Like, this is my shortest lifestyle, I think. And this is how it looks. Like, it, I don't really have an everyday kind of lash. Like, I don't know. Whenever I pick out my lashes for my brand, it's like they look like everyday lashes, but when I get them, they're actually not, like... Um, that's okay for this these are still cute so um now oops i'm gonna put some lip gloss on i need to find some things for wear this is a cereal milk gloss um it's just regular clear gloss it just has um little cereal decals inside that's pretty much it and it smells like french vanilla so it basically smells like cereal i don't even know why i'm putting lip gloss on because i'm gonna wear a mask anyways ow the needle poked me that hurt okay so let me find something to wear. I'm probably gonna wear an oversized t-shirt with shorts just because um, it's hot outside and wearing jeans and stuff is terrible when it's hot. So we're not gonna do that. And I'm just gonna, I don't even know what wig to wear. I love curly hair, but it's too hot for that. Like literally it's too hot to wear curly hair. So yeah, I'm gonna pick out this outfit and we'll continue this vlog. the outfit choices. These all just came off the dryer so i don't know why it's like my my soap makes the shirts kind of turn white but i have this oversized shirt this one's like really oversized um my mom bought it at burlington i think and yeah it's all this one is like oversized to the max and then we have gray shorts we have this one that i got from sheen it's not too oversized but it's still pretty big and it says become the change and these black shorts so yeah it's either or i like the black one more because it's like really really big and it kind of comes to my knees this one's like to my middle of my thigh but i don't know because it's hot outside probably wearing black is a bad idea so let's just go with the that okay one. so you guys can't see me but this is what i mean it's like to my thigh i have the shorts on obviously looks like i'm growing a little butt but not really so yeah this is how it looks i still don't know what wig to wear but we're gonna find that now because i haven't eaten anything today so that's why i really want to go to the store so i can actually find something i actually want to eat so yeah let me find my wig and then we'll be on the road okay so there's this wig um i put a braid in it yesterday and i don't know I am not good at styling my wigs anymore. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, but lately, styling my wig has been so complicated. But it's okay because I'm I'm gonna figure it all out. I just cannot style my wigs anymore like the front part of this wig didn't curl correctly so that's the main reason why i put the braid in it but it's not like the braid was actually cute like see this part of the wig literally did not curl when i curled the wig so that's why i put the braid in it just so it wouldn't be so noticeable and it's a closure wig i think that's the thing like literally i always wear frontals so i know how to style it better but a closure wig i don't know what it is it's like 
I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't know how to plug it and put the baby hairs. Like, it just doesn't work out for me. So, I don't know what to do to just not look crazy. But the braid really wasn't cute either. So, there's also that. It's like, it's like I look cute, but the wig is not cute. So, and I don't even know, like, <sighs> okay, I'll get back. I think we're making some progress. I just put some curls on this side. I think I'm gonna curl the front over here too, just so it can look a little more presentable. So I'm literally only going to Walmart. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm going to see something, do something important, but you never want to look bad anymore, to be honest. Like, and also because I'm vlogging. If I wasn't vlogging, y'all, I would have tied my scarf and left. But I noticed that in a lot of videos, I'm always wearing a scarf, so I'm like, and it's not like I'll be switching up. I literally be wearing that same cheetah print scarf. But that's literally the scarf I use when I like tie my edges down whenever I do my hair. So whenever I don't feel like doing my hair, I just put the scarf on. But I'm trying to stop that and actually, you know, be cute. So that's my new goal is to actually do my hair more often. And also, guys, okay, so we're going on a family, a little family vacation or whatever. And we're going to a water park. Do you, what do you guys think? Should I keep my wig in or should I like do some fox? Is it fox or faux locks? Because I don't know, I just feel like if I wear a wig, I won't have fun because I'm gonna be trying to make sure it doesn't fall off. But like, I don't know. Okay, yeah, this looks more cute. This looks way better. And now I feel better. Because when you look good, you feel good. And that's something I truly believe in because whenever you don't feel like you look your best, you're not you're not gonna have the best day. And now I feel like I look good. So I feel like going to my will be more productive. Cause I'm not even alive. I'm very surprised that my mom is even letting me go to the store. Yes, I'm an adult, but whenever I go to the grocery store, like I never come back with anything that makes sense, like like ever. So I'm surprised she was like go ahead like not that she could have told me no i can't go to a store but it's like i always go buy stupid stuff so i always ask my mom to buy groceries i'm not buying groceries for everyone i'm just buying myself something but if you guys get what i'm saying okay so oh my god this towel is so long right see when you do your hair you feel cute and i feel cute Okay, and these lashes are giving what they were supposed to give. I really, I was really trying to be different and get a closure with you. Like this is six by six closure, I believe. Literally, I all, all of my wigs are frontals. Like this is my first closure wig, to be completely honest. Like I literally don't wear closures because I like frontals, but I started hating frontals because I hate the fact that you literally have to glue it on to go out. So I know they say you can make a glueless frontal, but that never works for me. So that's why I got a closure because it's more fit to your head and it's less likely to come off. Like, you know, so yeah, that's why I got it. But let's head to the car, head to the car, head to the car. Okay, bye. Okay, so we are in the car and my mom gave me her little stand thing so I can put my camera up now. So I'm not like, it's not like falling on the side anymore. So now I feel like a real blogger. Guys, I cannot wait till I save up enough money to buy a camera. Like, don't get me wrong. I could buy a camera today, but it's like, I want to work hard for it. You know, it's like, I want to watch myself put the dedication into this channel. So then when I buy the camera, it's worth it. Cause I know if I buy a camera right now and I'm not fully committed to my YouTube channel, I'll buy this camera. I'll make two videos and six months will pass. And I'll remember, oh, I bought a camera. I make another video. It's like, no, I want to buy this camera and continue to make videos every single day, literally. Well, not every day, but like three times a week at least. So it's like, that's why I'm waiting to buy the camera. So it's like, when I buy it, I'll already be into the flow of posting videos multiple times a week. So yeah, that's why I haven't bought the camera yet. But you know, when I 
when I get this camera, I'm gonna feel so accomplished because I, I know that I worked hard for it and I didn't just go sweat my credit card and buy the camera, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, we're on the way to Walmart. Guys, you will not believe I just parallel parked my car. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I was recording this. I literally just parallel parked my car for the first time in my life. Like literally, I could not parallel park and I just freaking did it. Oh my God, I did it. <laughs> Such a happy moment, y'all. I literally could not parallel park and I really freaking just did it. Thanks to this backup camera. Cause Lord knows, I would have definitely hit somebody's car. I feel so good right now like i told y'all when you look good you feel good and you do great things and i just parked my car for the first time in my life like don't ask me how i got my driver's license y'all i really i cannot believe this uh, i'm really in the lines like let me look at this camera again i am in the oh my god i parked my car okay let me stop which people think i lost my line i'm over here screaming at parking lot so i decided that I am gonna buy gro groceries, but I also am gonna get Whataburger because, oh no, maybe I shouldn't. Whataburger seems so fattening, y'all. I've been trying to be on a diet and eat healthy, but I am not about that life. Like, I am not that kind of girl. Like, and I wanna be, I really do wanna be that kind of girl, but I'm just not there yet. So, I really do want Chipotle, but Chipotle is not on this side. Like, going to Chipotle is like going past my house and then turning around. Like, that's really where Chipotle is. That's why I'm mad. This is why I don't leave the house. Whenever I leave the house, I can never just do what I said I'm gonna do. I always gonna do something else. This guy is parked in two parking spots. Like, sir, no, I didn't do that today. Oh my god, we can fail over my car. Okay, bye. Let me go. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but I put my AirPods in, so maybe be able to hear me better. Um, I don't even remember what I wanted from Walmart. Like, Cassie, why did you drive yourself here? But we in the store. Let me get some popsicles because it's hot outside. Oh, my favorite popsicle. Okay. We got popsicles. My little sister wants a different type of popsicle. We all eat different types of popsicles so we don't mix our stuff up, so. Which one should I get her? Mango, peach, or watermelon? Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna get her the mango one. That's what I think she'll like. Um, oh, I came for Powerade. That's exactly what I wanted. Literally about to cry. There's really no blue pirate. Like, why does Walmart not have pirate anymore? This is like the third time me and my mom have come to Walmart and there's been no pirate. Like, I literally need pirate. I need it. Like, God. I'm gonna cry now. Don't nobody want this? But it's ultra zero sugar. Like, I'm so angry. I literally need Parade. I don't like Gatorade. Gatorade is not good. Oh, God. Okay. Oh my gosh. I thought going out early in the morning stop it from being extremely hot but that was definitely a lie it's definitely still hot as ever i'm gonna see if i truly want to drive to chipotle because i really didn't buy anything to eat still like which i knew that was gonna happen to me anyways like i don't know what it is about going to walmart i can never find what i'm looking for and now i'm definitely hungry still because i still haven't eaten anything today and it's 10 33 in the morning so, why did I put the car? I thought I put the car in reverse, but it's actually in drive because I sure as heck did parallel park my car. So, now I can just pull off and not have to reverse. Like, 
I feel so official today. Like being able to parallel park means so much to me. Like y'all do not understand. Okay, vlog. So we are at Chipotle. 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 And I'm about to get this bowl, y'all. And I'm gonna show you my food because I'm a very picky eater. I'm surprised I actually eat Chipotle because I actually hate food that's all touching each other. It's really weird. I'm actually surprised that I eat it. Like, but I'm gonna show y'all my bowl when I get back. Okay. And this is why I like Chipotle because it's literally so fast. Like that was literally a minute and 20 seconds. 20 seconds to get in line, get your food and leave. But let me show you got my bowl real quick. So I'm a really picky eater. So this is what I do. I'm going to eat it in the car because that's too much work. I get pico, but I get it in the, in the container because I don't like it to be on. Like I like to do it myself. I also get the salsa, but I get it in the container because I also like to put that on myself. And then, ah, in my bowl, this magical bowl, it'll open up. Hopefully, I close this right so I can go home and this doesn't spill in my car because that would be really sad. Okay, my bowl's all flipped over, but I just get white rice. I get white rice, I get steak, and I get the veggies on top. That's it. People be putting sour cream and lettuce and corn and cheese. All of that just looks like too much stuff to be on rice. But this is what I get. So, let me just, mm, man, mm. I feel like they put some seasoning on the rice today. I just love Chipotle, like, and it's all thanks to my cousins, like, one day they were like, let's get Chipotle. And I was so nervous because like I literally never ate it before. And I don't like trying new things because I'm scared of like eating something and it hurts and makes my stomach hurt because I have a really sensitive stomach. So I really don't eat new things. Like I eat the same things every day. Rice, rice, and more rice. So trying Chipotle was scary because I didn't even know what to put on the bowl. Like I didn't know what they served there to be honest. Like I didn't even know Chipotle served rice to be completely honest. Like I just never ate it. So that one amazing day, they convinced me and I got it. And I fell in love. This is the second time I've eaten Chipotle this week. Like in the apartment vlog that I posted two days ago, I literally went to Chipotle. When I was talking in the car, I was literally at Chipotle. But I just didn't include that part in the vlog. I didn't want to seem fat, but now y'all know the truth. I went to Chipotle twice in one week. And today is only Friday. Let me drop home. I want to eat this and this is probably how I'm going to end the vlog so don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell me what you want to see on my channel and I'll definitely bring that to you guys and yeah love you guys